Hi, today we're here to demonstrate an example of Preferred Utilities line of direct replacement flame safeguards. We're going to be looking at the replacement for the Honeywell 7800 series along with the Cleaver Brooks CB780. This is the Quantiflame 5004 M78 primary controller and all you need for replacement is a small flathead screwdriver. Before we replace the unit, there is a couple safety procedures to follow. First, you wanna be sure your burner switch is in the off position, your fuel valve is shut, and power to your control panel is locked out and tagged out. You wanna take note of the flame amplifier card that you are using along with your purge timing settings. We will first unscrew the two screws which are in the corner of the flame safeguard, and now we can remove it from the wiring base. A nice thing about Preferred's line of direct replacement flame safeguards is that there is no need to change the wiring base or any of the existing field wiring. So before installing your new 5004 M78 flame safeguard, there are a couple settings we need to account for. The first of these is a series of dip switches located underneath the locally mounted LCD. I will explain now the functionality of each of these dip switches. Dip switch number one determines the action of the flame safeguard after a power failure. Dip switches 2, 3, and 4 are used to set the purge time for your Quanta Flame Flame Safeguard. Dip switches 5 and 6 are utilized to set the Flame Safeguard's Pilot Trial for Ignition PTFI time. Dip switch 7 sets the hold, trip, interlock, short, functional safety check. Dip switch 8, the final dip switch in the series, is used for configuring Modbus addresses for communication via RS-485. You'll compare these settings to that of the Honeywell 7800 series flame safeguard you just removed. On the back of the unit is a three position jumper used to select what type of flame scanner you're using. You can choose between infrared, ultraviolet, or if you're using a flame rod. Again, with preferred line of direct replacement flame safeguards, there is no need to change the existing flame scanner which is installed. After the jumper is set for your flame scanner, and your dip switches are set to select your purge timing, you can reinstall the LCD and mount the unit directly back into the subbase. Screw down the two corner screws and your flame safeguard is replaced. Packaged with each of Preferred's direct replacement flame safeguards as a quick start guide for easy setup. If you don't have the quick start guide, you can get it on our website, preferred-mfg.com, along with the complete user manual. For purchase, you can go to amazon.com as well as the Preferred Utilities website. For any questions, feel free to call 203-743-6741 and ask for Quantaflame Flame Safeguard Tech Support.